It's the fucking Poo Jays right now, bro. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually bad. How many Looney Dogs you guys smashed tonight? You know, it was, it, it was a light night for me. I've hit like 12 before, but it was only 10 tonight. So. Toronto, fuck around, find out, you know. Let us, you know, keep the faith on the boys. They'll win it. You have to keep the faith. We're what 160 hot dogs in this season, going <laughs> yeah. for 300. So we're, you know, we're still at that 500 mark right now. So we're hoping that the Jays are. This is Fan First Network. Everyone lost against the Astros yesterday. 7-6 win here today. What did you see there tonight? I mean, our, our big guys came up, right? Springer came up with a big hit. He's He's been doing that a few times recently. Yeah. And that's really what we need. Like, we need the guys who lead the club to lead the club. You know, after a big start, we, we needed to shut them down. We did not. Um, we let them get back in the game. Yeah. Just the most Blue Jays thing to do in that situation, but they held on and a win's a win. We'll take it. I mean, I thought they were about to blow it in the ninth there when uh, Pena hit that double, but you know, two strikeouts in a row, fly out to end it, it's a good game. Yeah, I love seeing the younger guys just stepping in too, Horowitz and such, just, you know, really bringing it home. A lot better hitting, uh, defense, pitching was pretty good, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, other than the fifth inning where Barrios let up five runs. They were due, though, the Astros. They are a good team. I've seen a team that came to play tonight, I think. I think uh, the pitching was there, the hitting was there, and, uh, yeah, we just got the win. Good night. All things click tonight, hey? Absolutely. I guess too bad the Oilers couldn't have got the win in the cup. but <laughs> Dis Disappointing. Very they put on the game, Dad. Uh, they weren't that good, but they kind of sucked there for a few innings, and yeah. that's all I have. Um, I don't know. They just got Bo back from an injury. I don't know. He's just on fire. I don't know. It was an amazing game. It was yeah. very fun to watch. I went to the uh, Yankees game the other day and when they lost, and it was pretty disappointing. So it's nice the to come to a game. Runs against? Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice to come to a game where they actually win. Yeah. It, was, it was a good game. It was tight for a sec. We got really scared. The there, eh? But it was good. It was good. Former Astro George Springer, three run shot, yeah. helped the Jays uh, kind of get ahead early in the game. What did you see uh, from him tonight? I missed it. I was getting loony dogs. That ball was hammered, though. I bet it felt good for him. Former team, I bet it felt good. And then you were on pounding one, too. I was pretty sick. At Homer, he, uh, I think he's an awesome player. He's great to be on the Jays. Yeah, it's good to see him hitting the ball well. Good to see him hitting the ball well. Uh, Springer was on fire. I hate all the boos against them. Altuve got him tonight, but yeah. to see Springer do that, it's beautiful against his old team. You know, the Blue Jays don't hit the hit the garbage cans like the Astros do, so yeah. it's pretty nice to see that. Uh, I think he's feeling pretty good. Um, I mean, I don't know, after the fifth inning there, when the, when, the, when the Astros got five there, I'm like, oh my God. Oh, we were watching him. We had a great vantage point from Snyder's Park wow. looking right down. He, he was uh, chatting with the, uh, the bullpen a bunch, yeah. and, and that three-run shot quieted them up quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a lot of treatment going on, got pretty quiet pretty quick. Yeah, Barrios was good until the fifth inning where he allowed five runs, and then after that, the bullpen kind of held it together to secure the win by only allowing one. What did you see from the guys, Nate Pearson, Trevor Richard, Chad Green? I mean, Pearson, I've, I'm, I'm just happy that he seems to be getting it together yeah. this year. Nate Pearson looked like the Nate Pearson we all expected when he was a rookie. <laughs> that, that's promising, but you know what? He, he wasn't the only one, you know. Green pitched well too. Yeah, Trevor Richards nice. pitched yeah. well enough. Pearson was great. Yeah, hey. Lights out. Yeah. The guys, he's due. He's due to be good. Yeah, we've been waiting for a couple years for Pearson to kind of take this form, hey? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, he deserves it. He's he's put in the work. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day. I think it takes a lot of confidence when the entire team, like all the fan base is kind of like losing hope a little bit. Yeah. So we're glad that he has that confidence to like continue to fight and it, they won the game, so it worked, obviously. All around good game from the pen, as he said. Uh, Green looked great. Richards also did his thing. It was a good bullpen night, yeah. But yeah, just glad the Jays were able to hold it together and everything. Like uh, Astros only made one more after that, so that was awesome. But yeah, pretty nail-biter after that, so it was super fun. Extremely nail-biter. Green at the end of the game, I mean, I was a little nervous, you know. We're, that double wide pain, yeah. We yeah, and, and that's the thing, right? And then we're watching. And I'm looking. I was like, we've got little in our bullpen. They've got Hater in theirs. I'm like, that. <laughs> nothing against little, but I mean, it's Josh Hater, right? Like, if, if they get up, we're in trouble. And so Green just locking it down at the end of the game was so clutch. 
All right, the Blue Jays lose 5-3 to three in their final game against the Astros, only win one of four. What were your thoughts on the game today? I don't really don't know what to say, man. It's uh, it's pretty tough throughout the season, you know, when you expect your top hitters to do something. I'm thinking maybe they were sending some messages to each other through the pitchers again. Who knows? It's been known to happen in the past. They did pretty good. Uh, I think their bullpen could have done better, but other than that, uh, I think they need to get more hits. Uh, you know, they could have done a little bit better throughout uh, their pitching staff and whatnot, but you know, Chris Bassett, he's been solid throughout the season, but he has ups and downs throughout the season and whatnot. But It's really hard to say, man. It depends on how they show up, when they show up. The heat was a bit of an effect today, so um, I thought that the pitching could have been better. Well, I just got here yesterday, but I thought that the Blue Jays today, they, they played okay, but like, Man, they gotta step up their game if they want to get anywhere. They gotta step up their game, man. If they want to, if they want to if they want to win a championship, they gotta step up their game. I see the pitching wasn't too good today. I don't know what John Snyder's doing out there. He's putting pitchers in, and they're not coming playing to their potential. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's been hot since the start of June. He was announced as an All-Star starter yesterday. What's your thoughts on that decision? I think that's a good pick. Um, he started off cold throughout the first like half of the season there, but uh, he's been pushing up his game, what he's been doing there. I, honestly, I, I'm completely surprised because like the way his season had been going along was not that great. And uh, yeah, pretty much. And then all of a sudden he started to step it up, which is nice to see. And now he's like earned an all-star ballot. So let's see, you know, second half of the season, like they say, a lot of can happen down the stretch and you know guys start to get tired through August, September, guys arms start falling off so hopefully they start hanging a few and they start launching them again man. I think it's an excellent call, definitely a good choice, I voted for him. I think once you have a player that does a good job, has a bit of traction, um, they might garner a bit more attention. Big name value. Yeah, and there's that the bit of that big name value. You're correct in saying that. I, you know what? After the last month, I think he absolutely deserves it. You know, I think it was a, it was a battle between him and Mount Castle, and uh, if it wasn't for what he's been doing for the last couple of weeks, and I'm not man. shocked. But the June month, man, he's been killing it. Ever since he cut those dreads, man, he's been a whole new different player. Man. Pretty good to see. Him. He's just uh, a great All Star. He's going in his uh, steps of his dad. Uh, I definitely think that's a great decision. Uh, he's had a nine-game hitting streak, just got ended, but you know, he's pretty good. I mean, that's that's good for him, but I mean, we'll see where he goes after that contract. We're a couple games past the halfway mark for the Jays this season. What would you give them as a grade, either letter grade or one through ten, and why? I'd give him a B, maybe a, like a C minus. I I honestly give him a C minus. Um, yeah. Uh, and for number wise. Probably like six out of a ten, I guess. They haven't been hot throughout the whole season, especially coming from last season's high rankings of like their franchise record and stuff like that. They they need to step up their game. Like a solid C. Just a C. Just a C. Like we're not a D, they're not like bottom bottom, but like we're fighting. We're fighting. Seven, because they got potential. They're gonna move up and they're gonna they're gonna make it. They're gonna have a good bout. Um, I'm gonna go with a solid see because there's uh, lots of room for improvement it's not a failure but uh, we got we're halfway through there, sh there should be more effort going on but there's still there's still time six and a half seven maybe and like I said I think they need to do better with their pitching and stuff and I think they need more hidden I see middle pack didn't right now they're not set uh, stepping up to what the potential is with the players the caliber players they have three that's fucking, that's fucking rough enough, man. That is rough. A three out of ten, brother. Oh, from what I saw today, man, I, look, it's the first game I saw them. They lost today, obviously, but I give them a six, six or seven out of ten. Yeah. Three out of ten. Why? Terrible. That is terrible. This is Fan First Network. Well, it was nice meeting you, sir. Hope yeah, you have a great you. day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Hope you have a great rest of your day.